Hello developers, welcome back. In this video, let's see how we can manipulate an image in Flutter and put some banner text or banner image on top of it. So let's get started. So for the tutorial of this video, I will be using my existing project PicBank AI. You already know probably. So don't worry, it will be very easy to understand. You don't need to worry about the rest of the code. I will just explain the process where we manipulate the image. To manipulate the image, we will be using this image library. So add this image package in your pubspec.yml file as dependency and then you need to import it and once it is imported, you can use it. So in my app, let me open one of the image and on click of this download button, first uh, we will process this image, we will manipulate this image and then uh, we will download it. So this is where we are downloading the image. There are two scenarios here. First image is network image and second image is an asset image. In my case, it is a network image. That's why I'm using DO to get response from network. And if you have asset image, then you can use something like this image banner equal to utils.decode asset. So this decode asset function, you can get from the documentation of this image library. I will uh, give this link in the description. So this is the decode asset function that takes the string path of the asset and it returns image. So that's how you can use the asset image. But in my case, I am using the network image. So if you are using network image in options, you need to pass response type as response type dot bytes because we need image as bytes. And once we have the response, we can use image dot decode image function to decode it. And once we have decoded image, we can manipulate it. And don't worry about this thing. This, these are not relevant to this manipulation feature. And this is the banner. So this can be your asset image or network image. In my case, I am using asset image because I am using a, a banner like this Big Bang AI. So it is an image. So that's why I am using an asset image. And Based on X and Y value, banner will be placed on top of image. I am using X and Y to target the bottom right corner for the banner. You can experiment with different different values of X and Y to place your banner on different different locations. And then we are ready to use composite image function from the image library. So we can use image dot composite image and we need to pass here image that will be basically the image that we are manipulating and second parameter will be the banner that we want to place on top of it and dsth will be your banner height and dstw will be your banner width and dstx will be the coordinate of your banner so this will draw an image banner on top of the original image and here we are again encoding image so that it can be downloaded and I'm using the image gallery saver package to save this image. So let's download this image. So as you can see image has been saved to my gallery. So let's see. So here is my uh, banner image on top of this original image. So composite image was one of the functions that we used from image package. There are several other functions that you can use to manipulate the image. Like if you want to draw some string on top of this image, maybe you want some text banner on top of this image, then you can use img.drawString image. It will take image and a string that is the big bank AI and a font and X and Y is the coordinates like where you want that text on top of this image. So there are other many options available to manipulate the image. From the doc we can see composite image that I already explained and you can draw some character on top of image or you can draw circle on top of the image, you can draw lines, you can draw pixel or even you can draw polygon, you can draw react, you can draw string. So there are many other drawing functions available from that image library. So I would recommend you to check out this nice talk of the image library. So I hope this video will help you. Thanks for watching.